All right, today is uh, January the 26th, 2016. We're watching the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop, and we're watching a very strong storm here. This is a 945 millibar system, which actually has two lows that are spinning around each other in the core of this system. We've got a large cold front from this one uh, front here that extends all the way down to uh, 20 degrees north right here by the uh, Hawaiian Islands. This is not shown because we've got a lot of uh, dry air through here. That's not showing up on the uh, either one of the uh, maps here on the uh, on the surface pressure map it's showing that this front extends all the way down to uh, the Hawaiian Islands okay so we've got we've got high pressure installed still right here over California Arizona Nevada four corner states and that has been blocking a lot of this weather for the last day and a half and uh, we see that this may be breaking down a little bit. It's starting to move. The entire high pressure uh, zone is starting to move just slightly to the uh, to the east. And if we look at the uh, moisture field right here, it's getting pretty close to uh, California and Southern California. So things overnight could change. Although right now in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a barometric pressure of 30.12 inches. That's higher than it was this morning. We had about 30.02 this morning. The relative humidity, uh, just an hour, about an hour and a half ago, was 48%. It's now 38%. So the, the humidity has dropped. Uh, we've got a temperature of 48 degrees, and the dew point is at 24 degrees. Now, uh, we'll keep a close eye on what happens here, because uh, at any time, they can, they can allow, they can deflate that uh, high pressure and, and let it move off. We've seen that uh, in the last three seasons. On these satellites they've got a blockade going and then uh, they will hit a button and that's exactly what they do they just turn the transmitter off and this high pressure will just move with the with the current it'll just drift away all right and that's what happens i've seen it many times all right let's look at the uh the jet stream map and uh, we can see that uh interruption in the jet stream right here we're all at high pressure as this extends from sea level to thirty thousand feet so we're seeing this on the 300 millibar map and the 500 millibar map. The jet stream has nowhere to go right here, and it has to find two different paths because of all that high pressure that's been installed purposely to uh, keep these storms out of California. All right, and uh, here is the western U.S. water vapor loop. We can get an idea of the size of this storm. And this will not be shown on the nightly news. Uh, if you watch the... 9 and 10, 11 o'clock news at night, they will not show this. That just will not be part of the news. It will show us a very narrow aperture, and, and that's it. There's gag orders on these weather people. They're not allowed to talk about this stuff. What's really going on? They're not allowed to talk about it. All right, now we see this moisture field right here. This is getting closer to the uh, Southern California area. And uh, we will have to see what happens. But we did it. We had chemtrails today. It's starting around 12:30, 1 o'clock, and that uh, keeps the uh, humidity very low, keeps the dew point low, and it prevents lift in the atmosphere. And that's why we won't get rain. You got to have you have, have uh, lift and moisture to get rain. And these uh, chemtrail aerosols stop the lift, and that's what's happening. Okay, let's take a look at the. Uh, this is the surface analysis map. We can see that. 945 millibar storm right here and this is moving to the uh, northeast we've got a huge cold front indicated this is uh, the Hawaiian Islands right here along 20 degrees north this doesn't show up you can't really see uh, on the uh, on these uh, infrared in the, in the water vapor map we can't see a visual of that but that's what they're indicating here we've got very strong high pressure over the west coast 1039 millibar and 1026 millibar that's going to block all this weather we've got high pressure all through here these ridges right here all through here all right let's take a look at the uh the modus today uh this is the true color satellite map of uh, we're looking at the los angeles area right now and right here now, this was taken earlier today, probably in the morning, because we have to pan offshore to see uh, all of the chemtrail activity. Now, this is that front that we're looking at on the satellite. Let's go back to the big map again. This front right here, 
moving in, and that's what we're seeing here on the on the Modus today, a true color satellite map. We can see that right off the Channel Islands, which are right right over here, just we just pan offshore. We can see all the spraying going on right over the top of this uh, moisture field as it moves in. And there's a reason why they're spraying over the top of that moisture field, and that is to prevent the lift, causes an inversion layer, and we don't get rain. Very simple formula works. This is what they've been doing for at least and just about 20 years, as far as I can tell, looking at the uh, videos of old news clips and different things. So we've got heavy chem trailing offshore, <clears throat> and that is uh, going to stop the rain. Natural clouds are brilliant white, and the chem trail mixes this uh, off-white haze. And the chem trail haze is much higher than the clouds. They, they uh, spray this stuff around 40,000 feet, 45,000 feet. And uh, that stops the rain. And that's the pattern. I've been studying this for years now, and that's exactly what's happening. And that's why we've, we're having a drought. We've got weather manipulation going on. And uh, that's, that's uh, what's happening here. All right, let's take a look at the sea level pressure analysis. And we can see that broad area of high pressure that was uh, built in yesterday, right here. That's been that's formed a blockade, and uh, this weather just runs into that blockade. It has nowhere to go. It just uh, moves in the direction that it can. In this case, we've got high pressure at not only sea level, but at 300 and 500 millibar, or 500 and 300 millibar, uh, that is uh, in the same position. Let's take a look at the uh, 500 millibar map. We've got high pressure all through here. There's a few little dips, but uh, mainly it's it's right along the uh, the western part of the country that will block this uh, weather. Okay, here is the uh, 300 millibar at 30,000 feet. We can see that same pattern of high pressure. We have a little bit of low right here. We've got some low pressure indicated right here. We've got a lot of high pressure here, and that's if that stays in place, then uh, we will not get any rain. We'll just keep a, ver a very close eye on things. The uh, that moisture field is moving in, and uh, if anything develops, we'll do another uh, update beforehand. All right, here's the, uh, this storm is generating 36-foot swells right in the core of the system right here. And we've got 27-foot seas, 30-foot seas all through here. So this will uh, generate some high surf in the next three days along the uh, west coast. Okay, so uh, getting back to the western U.S. map. It does look like this moisture field is advancing into the uh, central California area and maybe into Southern California. We'll have to keep an eye on this. Uh, it looks to me like uh, we are in for more chemtrail spring tomorrow uh, and probably no rain. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but uh, if they were to stop the spring and turn off these transmitters, it's a basically 100% certainty that this would move right on shore and bring rain. And that's really the long and the short of it. So uh, if anything else comes up, we'll do an update. Okay, we'll do another update tomorrow.